Carl Sandburg Home National Historic Site, located at 81 Carl Sandburg Lane near Hendersonville in the village of Flat Rock, North Carolina, preserves Connemara, the home of Pulitzer Prize winning poet and writer Carl Sandburg. Though a Midwesterner, Sandberg and his family moved to this home in 1945 for the peace and solitude required for his writing and the more than 30 acres square meters of pastureland required for his wife, Lillian, to raise her champion dairy goats. Sandberg spent the last 22 years of his life on this farm and published more than a third of his works while he resided here. The 264-acre site includes the Sandberg residence, the goat farm, sheds, rolling pastures, mountainside woods, 5 miles 8 kilometers of hiking trails on moderate to steep terrain, two small lakes, several ponds, flower and vegetable gardens, and an apple orchard. Visitors to the site can tour the Sandberg residence and visit the dairy barn housing Connemara Farms goat herd, representing the three breeds of goats Lillian Sandberg raised. From mid-June until mid-August, live performances of Sandberg's Rutabaga stories and excerpts from the Broadway play, The World of Carl Sandberg, are presented at the Park Amphitheater. The Memminger years In the middle 1830s Christopher Memminger, of Charleston, South Carolina, took a tour of Flat Rock in an attempt to find a summer home. Unable to find a home he liked, he purchased land from Charles Baring, one of the more prominent land holders in the area. In 1838 he hired an architect to begin work on a large summer home in the Greek Revival style. The kitchen house and stable were actually completed first in the summer of 1838. The house was not complete until 1839. A cook's house was added in 1841, a wagon shed in 1843, and an ice house in 1845. An addition to the main house was constructed over the course of 1846 to 1849, and servant quarters were built in 1850. Memminger called his summer home Rock Hill, possibly because the main house was constructed on the gradual slope of Big Glassy Mountain. In 1855, he had a stream in front of the house dammed up to create a small, artificial lake. The Memminger family spent most of their summers after 1839 at Rock Hill, not to be confused with Rock Hill, South Carolina. They lived there full-time from 1864 until the end of the Civil War. During the war, the house was fortified and used as a shelter for friends who needed protection from raids by Union soldiers and Confederate deserters turned bandits. The Gregg and Smith years After Memminger's death, his son Edward sold Rock Hill to Colonel William Gregg, Jr., a Confederate veteran. During his ownership, he built new steps at the front of the house, since the originals had been removed during the war for defense. He also installed a bay window and fireplace mantles. The Greggs used Rock Hill as their summer home for about ten years before they sold it in 1900 to Captain Ellison Adger Smith. Smith changed the name of the house from Rock Hill to Connemara, after his ancestral district in Ireland. The Smiths winterized the house and enclosed the porch to convert it to a dining room. They also painted the house green for a brief period and even installed an eight-hole golf course in the pastures. The captain and his family used Connemara as a summer home until 1925 when they decided to make it their permanent residence. Smith died in 1942, and the house remained vacant until 1945. The Sandberg era Sandberg purchased Connemara on October 18, 1945 for $45,000 one. Mrs. Sandberg had been looking for a new farm in a warmer climate to raise her chickaming dairy goats. When she showed Connemara to her husband, he reportedly said, this is the place. We will look no further. Upon buying the house, the Sandbergs immediately began remodeling. Contractors were hired to work on the heating, plumbing, electrical, the roof and the cement floor of the basement. The Sandbergs installed new chimneys and bathrooms, as well as dozens of bookshelves for his large library. They also repainted the house and installed a new indoor kitchen, having turned the original kitchen building into a three-car garage. The entire remodeling process lasted for some two and a half years. 
In addition, more than 42,000 pounds of personal belongings, primarily Sandberg's library, were sent by train from their old house in Harbert, Michigan. The Sandbergs lived at Connemara from October 1945 to July 1969. Mr. and Mrs. Sandberg lived there along with their three daughters, Margaret, Janet, and Helga, as well as Helga's two children, John Carl and Carlin Paula. Sandberg published more than a third of his works while living at Connemara, and it was at this house he died of natural causes in 1967. After his death, his wife decided to sell Connemara to the U.S. government to preserve the house as a memorial to her husband. The Secretary of Interior and family friend Stuart Udall visited the house in October 1967, and Mrs. Sandberg signed a deed of gift in June of the following year. On October 18, 1968, President Johnson approved a congressional act making the home a historic site. The home officially opened to the public in 1974. The National Park Service restored the house and installed plexiglass covers over the bookcases during the time between the purchase and its opening. The site today Today Carl Sandburg Home National Historic Site attracts more than 85,000 visitors a year. The National Park is open every day except Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's Day. The U.S. government has designated the goats a historic herd. About 15 goats are kept on the farm at any given time. The interior of the home is arranged in a manner similar to how the Sandbergs maintained it during the 1950s. The Consolidated Natural Resources Act of 2008, supported by North Carolina's congressional delegation, authorizes the expansion of the site by 115 acres (0.47 square kilometers) to protect the scenic view, create additional parking, and to establish a visitor center. Topic See also List of National Historic Landmarks in North Carolina National Register of Historic Places listings in Henderson County, North Carolina